The X-47B is the integration of a uh, unmanned low observable technology aircraft onto an aircraft carrier. Patuxent River uh, test site is uh, where we're going to do all of our uh, integration testing before we take it out to the ship. So we have a lot of facilities here such as arresting gear, uh, catapult site, a lot of the command and control systems that are on an aircraft carrier we have here at Pax River and it emulates flying around the shipboard environment. So right now they're, they're just getting the aircraft put back together from shipping it across the country. We decided it was, it was the lowest risk and, and the easiest way to, to get the aircraft here to Pax River was to put it on the truck. But it was, it was 32 feet wide and so you know, we had to clear a path across the whole country. We had to get specific permits for every zone, every region. A lot of street signs had to come down, a lot of trees had to be trimmed. So there was a lot of, a lot of work went into moving the aircraft across the country. The, uh, the main part of the aircraft um, was, uh, was wrapped very securely so that it didn't get any damage from the road trip. They ended up craning it off of the uh, truck and unwrapping it and then transporting it to the hangar where they uh, reinstalled the wings. It's uh, comparable in size to a, a Navy Hornet and uh, the design in this model is a, a tailless design. So it's a, a flying wing design, which again will be another first for uh, flying around uh, uh, the carrier operations environment. There are going to be several historic moments here. The first one is when the aircraft is actually airborne. The second one will be the first arrested landing of the UAV and then the third one will be the first catapult shot on the uh, TC-7 catapult site. It's great to be on the cutting edge. I mean, that's one of the things that I think everybody on our team likes about flight test is to be right on the edge of something. And this is, this is as cutting edge as it gets.